welcome back to a new episode of the vlog. Now I wanted to just start here in the shop as I've got some really cool updates to show you. And you can see at the back, I've cleared out this whole area. So there's no more racks, there's no more benches. I've taken down the wall and now we gain all of this extra space for our retail offering. Now I do have a few updates to do on it. I've still got to get down some new carpet. I've also got to build a new showcase wall for all of our skis, boards and boots. And then I'm going to have a new boot fitting area over to the side here. So I'm actually really stoked to get that going and have an awesome offering for this coming winter. But before I do that, the first thing we need to do is go and hunt some power. Now, I was going absolutely crazy watching everyone's YouTube and Instagram, and I didn't get a lot of skiing done this year, so I just ended up booking a flight um, to get some redemption. And I'm actually starting to get really stoked. So tomorrow I fly out, we're going back to Japan. I can't believe it's been four years since I was there last, and uh, there's some great zones I've got to ski again. So the first stop that we're gonna make is straight to Ferrano. So let's go there right now. Bye-bye. Take care of yourself. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Okay, so made it here to Ferrano and it was a pretty big day of travel. Uh, actually got a bit crook from it, so uh, haven't rushed up to the mountain just yet. Now you can see the resort is up there, but it's starting to get a bit soft in. We do have a bit of a storm coming in tonight, so hopefully another 15 centimeters that we can go shred tomorrow. Um, pretty stoked on that. I may rip up there for a quick night ski, um, or we're just gonna go out, have dinner and a few beers. Um, but yeah, we're here. And it's on and uh, look how quiet this place is. It's almost eerie how quiet it is. So more power for us. Uh, let's see how we go. And also just to quickly show you uh, the place we're staying at for this first half of the trip. It is Brickhouse Ferrano and about three blocks down from the gondola. So not a bad little spot, but it is a nice cozy little setup in here. So should be quite comfortable. Yeah, lots of timber, good little sort of kitchen and bathroom setup, but uh, yeah, everything you can want. So a really nice owner. Um, if you're looking for a place to stay in Ferrano, this isn't a bad one and pretty well priced. So yeah, keep that in mind. Other goals, swap over. <laughs> that last one. <laughs> Blue sky did not last long. <laughs> Woo! 
So yesterday was a pretty awesome day. Now we got probably about 20 centimetres in total, um, but in some of the slack country zones we were dropping into, it was just bottomless power. So it was a great way to start day one, um, just to get some really nice turns in, um, get the legs back. Um, and we went pretty hard. It was a really good day. Um, sort of hit about mid-afternoon and we went to do a bit of a boot pack just off the gondola. Got to a pretty nice zone and it was just bottomless in there. It was phenomenal. Couple of turns down, hit a tree, took my GoPro clean off my helmet. So <laughs> after skiing down for a little bit, realizing I've done it, we were like, okay, well, that's my newest GoPro with a brand new Max Lens mod and all of the footage from the day. We tried to tour back up to go and dig around and look for it. Uh, the only problem with that is we couldn't find a tree that was at my head height. So I don't know how I've possibly even done it. Um, but yeah, I remember the knock. I just don't remember where it happened. So that thing is gone for good. Now, I think when it comes to Ferrano, I'm pretty cursed by the snow gods here because they have claimed two GoPros off me now. Um, I think the biggest thing I'm upset about is just losing all that really great footage of the morning um, because that was pretty next level. But we've got to just keep going. We've got a couple of old dodgier GoPros that we'll still try to get some footage with. And um, yeah, there's no chance of buying a new one here. It's a pretty small town in Ferrano. Maybe if I get to Nisico and see if I can get a new one there. And um, it looks like we might get a storm there. So it's sort of uh, cooked this vlog a little bit. Uh, everything's going to be reliant just on this phone camera I have, um, which I'm not going to take out when it's that deep of snow because that will go missing for sure. Um, but yeah, it's day two. It's a little bit mellower. We maybe had a couple of centimetres overnight, but the sun is out. It's looking like a really nice day and we'll probably go explore a little bit. And uh, yeah, I'll post it up if I get any clips. But uh, yeah, I'll show you what we did get yesterday off the other GoPros um, to give you a little bit of a taste of how that's looking. But uh, let's see if I can still piece anything together. There, is it? Did a pretty good job of it, eh? <laughs> Whole mount. Just can't be trusted. Fair <laughs> bit. Must have been a bit of force there. <laughs> How's your head? <laughs> head feels great. It's bad as usual. <laughs> Not bad. You good? Yeah. <laughs> Too late in the day. <laughs>
Yep. <laughs>